Mattel toy maker admits it was hit by a ransomware attack. Top line notes. Um, I mean, your favorites, Barbie. <laughs> I don't know if it's your favorite specifically, but Barbie, Fisher Price, Hot Wheels. Uh, these guys are giants. They're they're monsters. They've been making toys for decades and they've been really good at it. Uh, but they were infiltrated. They were hacked. And um, some notes, assumptions as of now, they haven't figured out what the ransomware was that halted all operations. But uh, so, uh, there had been mention of a, it's called TrickBot malware. Uh, this happened back in July 28th. So it's been three months um, since this even happened. Um, you know, Mattel had basically, it's a toy maker. They, they don't, they're not handling all your information. They're not doing that much. But having said that, they wanted to make sure that everyone knew that no material impact to operations or financial condition was had occurred, but there was really no uh, easing the customer's minds, right? Like if people are buying anything online or uh, there's no trails, there's nothing else that additional was said. So um, I guess a good question in, in this one would be like, when a hack of this scale happens, but it's kind of an odd industry toy making, they're not, collecting customer information or anything like that, but they are selling to a lot of people. What, what um, dangers loom here in terms of them having all of their, you know, servers breach their computers and just kind of any inkling of danger happening by hackers hands. Same as, same as last time. I mean, well, first there's obviously business function. So can you continue to make and deliver products? Second, there's something Steve touched on last time, which is, you know, it's, it's more concerning if you work for Mattel and Mattel has, for example, your social security number because you're an employee of the company. Um, and then, you know, I would worry about supply chain risk, meaning if, if someone shares a direct network connection or is opening emails, um, you know, from Mattel that look legit and don't necessarily have to be phishing emails, there's, there's obviously a risk there involved in all the other companies that do business with them. I, I think uh, one thing that I don't know <clears throat> does Mattel sell their toys online? Because if they've gotten into the world of e-commerce, that breaks everything wide open. If, if they purely manufacture, there's, there's a limited risk, right? Like Campari, Campari manufactures. But uh, Mattel, I go to Mattel.com, if I can buy a toy, then it's the same thing as if Target was breached, which Target was breached, right? Um, once, a hacker's in, you don't know what they've touched. You don't know if they're doing a key logger, scraping credit card information, financial information, personal information. So there's a lot of unknowns here. Um, one thing that I will note, I think ransomware is, is the biggest game in town. Uh, the best way to make money if you're hacking. Um, you know, hacking's all about monetizing. And if you can break in and, and ransom someone, um, people pay. Ready for number three? Yep. Number three on the date bridge list is the headline reads Capcom hacked. That, I almost mixed that up. Capcom hacked. Resident Evil game developer discloses cyber attack. And essentially the big takeaway that they wanted from this article was that, you know, sure, no customer data was, you know, put on the forefront and nobody can tell right now, but having said that, your IP, your trade secrets, any internal communications that you have within the company could be at stake, meaning you guys are not in a good spot right now. Like how can you kind of position yourself in the, in the, at least the press that, oh, it's okay because no customer data is, is out there, but what's your take on it? Now all the hackers are gonna know how to Hadouken. That's not good. <laughs> When were they infected? Do we know? The short press release was uh, given out last Monday. So it's been like a week. Mm -hmm. it, didn't, it didn't say like initially it happened in, you know, certain well, kind of year, but. the reason they're saying it now is because eGregor, when you don't pay, they publish your name on their website. And so they, they were playing the game of, okay, 
when are people going to figure out that we've been hacked? And then they saw, okay, E. Gregor will publish if we don't pay and, and such and such. So, so we know they haven't paid, right? Or else E. Gregor wouldn't have, ha wouldn't have announced it. Um, so maybe they will pay now. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is, this is bad. Uh, if they start releasing game source code, you're going to see a hundred Street Fighter clones that are out there. 